In this video, we'll talk about alarm limits, what they are, how to choose them, and how they can benefit you. Alarm limits are usually chosen via a risk-based process that helps you always store your samples within a predetermined temperature range. There are many rationales for determining this range or limit, and you'll have to decide what parameters best meet your needs. The purpose of an alarm is to alert you that your samples may be at risk. You can choose an audio, visual, or an external alarm. The external alarm can inform you of an event remotely. Today, my desired temperature is minus 80 degrees Celsius. I'm going to follow a recommendation from the USP that my samples can be stored within a range of plus or minus 10 degrees Celsius. That means I need to store my samples between minus 70 and minus 90 degrees Celsius. Let's look at the user interface, commonly referred to as the display panel. To get started, first click settings, then click on the alarm tab and choose the warm alarm. You should be able to swipe the spin control until you reach minus 70 degrees Celsius. With the warm limit entered, select the alarm tab again and choose the cold alarm. Repeat the process by swiping the spin control until you reach minus 90 degrees Celsius. Next, touch the save button to set your temperature limits. With these limits in place, your system will inform you if your freezer reaches a temperature outside of the designated range. And now you know how to add alarm limits to a thermoscientific TSX series freezer. It's really that simple.